right side, caroms it to the other wing. Hagman takes his man in on the board. The spur is upended. Oh, that was a jostling session there. Number 10. Hunter is over there, too. And I'll tell you, he the floor is stunned out there. If we can get a look at him standing along the board, he was really stunned by that check against the glass. There he is going to the bench now. He slashes it off the boards. Anderson taken in on the boards by Mondu. In there goes the Riviere, holding Gainey in the faceoff. Will be to the right of Mo. We mentioned that Vancouver's got one up on Buffalo and a goal by Rhoda. Boston now has come from behind two to one. Foster and McNabb scoring, and they lead Minnesota three two. It's Robinson and Messier have a disagreement. The fans are picking up on the Canadians here. Every time it seems the Canadians have a rush and they elect to shoot the puck in. And that's something Mickey's going to talk about in the second intermission. Uh, why the fans seem to get on them. A rather small crowd by form standards for this game. And this is the reason they are upset. See, in this play, that was uh, Hunter coming up to Lafleur again. And Lafleur saw him coming and got the elbow and the stick up a little bit. We had Hunter and Lapointe now are going at one another. We got a fight here. the ice. Well, I'm sure this has got something to do with Hunter working over Lafleur here in the first period and a half as well. Has to be trying to work over Lapointe with that right hand. Now ah, the officials are in there. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Point got the helmet off and then hit him with the helmet. Now Hunter's really upset. The way he handles that official. Some of his teammates are trying to calm him down. You're not kidding, Dick. Because several players this year make a bit in trouble because of their manhandling of linesmen in situations like this, and it's cost them. Well, the point is he hit him about two or three times with the helmet after he ripped it off his head. Sending the point out to the dressing room, likewise Hunter. So whether that means game misconduct or just that will exceed the time remaining in the second period. 6.01 left to play. And they break into the center ice area. Anderson working his way. He felt it into the boards by Robinson. Robinson goes after Messier. Anderson roughed up by Gady. They're beginning to lay the muscle on. To the body check, he really catches Anderson coming down the right wing. And two or three checks after that, Edmondson trying to keep the puck in the Canadian zone, but well, the fans really love to see those bodies flying. Ganey gives the Edmonton player a bang in the head. Anderson again into the board. And Robinson again. The announcement on the penalties now upcoming. Robinson ran into Messier. Hagman coming up over to Fogelin. Fogelin going in. And Ganey got back. Now, here's Messier. And Robinson. Oh, it looked like a ugly situation was going to develop there. really threatening to swing the stick. He did tap Larry Robinson up on the side of the head, and Robinson calling him to come on and drop the stick. Uh, Messier just kept swinging the stick around. They're both going to go off, but you're right, Danny. That could have developed into something uh, very vicious. You see them both drawing at each other over in the box, and Robinson pointing at Messier now. Well, let us hope that nothing on floors will take place to this first game of the series. Here you see how it started. Uh, Robinson just was after Messier, and then they get all kind of tangled up with each other. Robinson knocks them over, and that's how the whole thing starts. Swing here and there. There you see the stick come up uh, beside Robinson's head, and Messier is ready really swing it at him, but uh, he's going to get two minutes apiece. Clearing it. Got out. A shot. Goes in there. And the siren goes. Ending period. There's a mix-up between shot and I think that was the man about whom we spoke a moment ago, number seven, Coffey. Here's shot and Coffey, Danny. The things are getting a little feisty out there. The Canadians upset. They're down three to one. Edmonton taking a piece of the Canadians every chance they get out here. And you know, the young fellow, seven, number seven, Coffey, he's only 19 years of age. 
The Oilers heading on it to Messier. He gets it to Hagman. Messier was upended by Tremblay and was an offside. You know, full credit to the Oilers for making it work that way. Well, Danny and I were talking about that, Dick, and I think uh, a lot of the credit has to go to the Oilers for jumping on top of the Canadians. They handle Montreal in convincing fashion. Score six to three in the shots on goal. Montreal 31 and Edmonton 28. 